welcome to my very first vlog video for Backmaster Fresh. In case you're watching on YouTube and you don't know what's what's going on and what I'm talking about, check out the links in the description box below. It will take you straight to the website, straight to the blog, where you can see what's going on and enjoy the rest of the blog posts that are offered over there. So this is my Backmaster machine. I have been using Backmaster for almost three years now and it wasn't up until maybe a little over a year ago that I said, okay, it is time for me to get my own vacuum sealer machine because it is just that awesome. I previously used a VP210 machine in the past and that one was located at a fishing camp where there are multiple charter captains taking out multiple people, catching limits of redfish, trout, flounder almost every day, bringing it home, cleaning it, and sealing it in the vacuum machine. So. That machine was running through pounds and pounds of fish every day, getting worked really hard, and it had been in use for years and was still working as if it was brand new. That to me is an excellent product, and that basically sold me and made me realize I wanted to get one of these myself in my house. I ended up going with the VP230 machine, which is just slightly bigger and more powerful than the BB210. We are bringing in lots of meat all the time. As you can tell by watching the videos on my channel, we will bring in 200 pounds of swordfish or seven deer home and have to vacuum seal all of it. So we need something that's strong enough to get the job done but also small and convenient enough that it's not going to take up a whole room in our house. First thing I love about this machine is the excellent quality I can rely on this machine. That's the first thing. Second of all, I love how I can fit it inside on my countertop. And I don't have a big kitchen, okay? I, I will show you the rest of my kitchen. Actually, I'll show you the rest of my kitchen. So this is my kitchen uh, at the house I have in Venice. So you can see I don't have a huge elaborate kitchen. Also, this whole wall over here had like no cabinets, no drawers, no countertop space. So I had to order these two pieces right here just to have a little bit extra space and some storage, which ended up being perfect for my microwave and of course the vacuum sealer machine over there. The third thing I love about this machine is how I have the ability now to not have to waste as much food. And what I mean is the difference between vacuum sealed fish versus non-vacuum sealed fish is that you're going to be able to keep it in the freezer for so much longer when it's vacuum sealed versus when it's just thrown in a Ziploc bag. I just uploaded a video where I ate a piece of vacuum sealed swordfish that was over a year old and it was amazing. I really love having that ability to not waste my food. If you've ever had a bunch of fish in the freezer or a bunch of bait even or anything that's stored in the freezer not in an airtight bag, not vacuum sealed, you'll know that you'll go through it a year later and have to throw out a bunch because it's just no good anymore. But when you have a vacuum sealer, you can store that meat for double, almost maybe triple the amount of time that you would in a Ziploc bag or some other regular bag that was not vacuum sealed. I really love how strong and powerful and reliable the machine is. I love how compact it is. I can keep it on my counter, in my kitchen, inside. I love how I can have the ability to not waste my food and keep it fresher for longer. And I also love how easy this machine is to use. I really don't have to do much besides turn the button on and let the latch down, open it, put my bags in there. I can vacuum seal multiple bags at a time depending on how much fits in the chamber. Make sure it's set to where I want it set. Don't need to change it after that. All you gotta do is, is close it, it will go, and it, the, the thing will seal. You can let it go, and it will vacuum seal the bag perfectly, open and spread up. I don't have to worry about this lid falling down on my arm or anything because it is automatically gonna stay up for you. Also, it's really nice, easy to store. That latch closes like that, which leaves a little bit of space for the top to be open so that it can have good ventilation so it doesn't get all rotten and stinky in there. But I do make sure that I clean my machine because it's my baby. You know, because if you're sealing fish and you know juice in there, all the all the blood and stuff gets you know dried up and starts to stink. But really, that feature for it to stay open is so nice. So that's pretty much it for my first blog post for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and definitely go ahead and check out the other. Uh, blog posts on the website because there's so much stuff on there, especially tons of recipes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. 
please hit the like button if you liked it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description box below where I have linked the Backmaster website, the blog, and their Instagram page too. Oh, one more thing. I do offer a discount code for anyone who wants to shop the Backmaster website. I'll pop that right up there. So don't forget to use it, it's 15% off. And happy shopping you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for watching, I'll see y'all in my next one.